Hello, in this brief video we will walk through the steps of grading with rubrics in your E-Class assignments. In a previous video we discussed how to create a new assignment in your E-Class course. As an extension of that we will now add a rubric to the grading settings. In order to do that we will go to the assignment settings and scroll down to the grade area. By default, the grading method has been set to simple direct grading, which is the method of simply typing in the numeric grade for each submission. In order to use a rubric, we will need to change the grading method. There are two additional methods that are available, a grading guide or a rubric. A rubric, by E-Class's definition, will have several criteria, each with set point values attributed to it. A grading guide, however, is a rubric with several criterion listed but the instructor directly types in the points for each criterion. We will go over both of these grading methods. To begin, we will start with Rubric. After choosing a grading method, scroll down and click Save and Display. Immediately afterwards, you will be given two options, to either define a new grading form from scratch, or to create a new grading form from a template. If you have used a similar rubric in another assignment in your course already, you can click the template option to search your own forms. Otherwise, click Define New Grading Form from Scratch. To begin, start by giving your rubric a name. Then, if desired, give your rubric a description. Scrolling further down in the rubric area, you will be able to add the criteria. For each text box, simply click on the cell to add text. You can do the same for each point level as well. If you need to add additional levels to your criterion, just click Add Level. In order to add new criterion, either click the Add Criterion button, or use the Duplicate button to duplicate the current row. After all criteria have been added to your rubric, you can then scroll down to the rubric options for more settings. This includes the sort order for your levels, whether they ascend or descend by the number of points. This also includes whether students will be able to preview the rubric before submitting, or whether the rubric description or points will be visible. When you are done, click Save Rubric and make it ready. When grading, the rubric will appear as a clickable form that you can use to select levels, and it will also include text boxes for each criterion. Now let's take a look at what happens when you choose Grading Guide as your grading method. Same as before, you can either choose to look for template grading guides that you've already used in your course, or you can create a new grading guide from scratch. When entering the criteria for your grading guide, give each a name, a description for students or graders, and the maximum score for each criterion. After entering your first criterion, you can then click the Add Criterion button to add new rows. Once all criterion have been added to the grading guide, then scroll down for more options. This can include adding frequently used comments that you wish to use later. Once your work is complete, then click Save Grading Guide and make it ready. With the Grading Guide enabled, you'll be able to add remarks for each criterion, frequently used comments, and the point value per criterion. 